So what I have for you here are an example of two um, talking keychain clocks that you can get. Both of these are available on Amazon. And there are some rather interesting differences between them. First of all, the voices. The time is 11.55. The time is 11.55. Now, where is the AM and PM? Because this is one of the things both of these have in common, 24 and 12 hour formats. Other than the voices, these are basically the same, except for one other difference. The time is 11.56. Today is Tuesday, 13 January, year 2018. The time is 11.56. Today is Tuesday, January, 30, year 2018. This one on the left here, the white one was developed primarily for the British market. This one was primarily developed, I think, for the United States market, and I'm only, be I'm only basing that on date format. So a couple of other differences. Um, functionally, they're the same. Aesthetically, they are totally different. This one comes with a regular keychain, although I went ahead and took that off because that's where my keys are currently stationed. This one, however, comes with a carabiner clip, which I think is honestly a lot better to handle. So you'll notice that I've turned these over. They are pretty much the same. As I said, functionally they are the same. You have a speaker on the top. You go down towards the middle and you'll find three buttons. They are minute alarm, and hour. Below that is a big circle with a little line, a vertical line running up and down. That is your battery door. At the top of the line is a notch. As long as that notch faces the 12 o'clock position or directly underneath the alarm button, which is the smaller of the three buttons um, in the middle, then your battery door is secured. Now, if you feel along the battery door for a little notch at the 2 o'clock position and continue beyond that notch till you find a little indent, that is your time zone button. Both of these clocks can synchronize with all four United States time zones and the United Kingdom. So, as I mentioned, these are pretty much the same except for one other difference. Both of these have 12 and 24 hour format. Both of these have five alarms, which I will demonstrate here with the verbalized model. The time today is the alarm. Time is zero o'clock alarm off. Now on the display, you will notice AL1. If I press the alarm button in the back. Alarm one, the alarm time is zero o'clock alarm. <laughs> Now, all of these will say the exact same information because they're all set to zero hundred hours. So I'll just go through the rest. Alarm two, alarm three, alarm four, alarm five. The alarm time is zero o'clock alarm off. So, as I said, both the same. If I do, if I do the same thing here on the five senses model. Oops. 11, 50, alarm, alarm 2, alarm 3, alarm 4, alarm 5, 0. Now, if you cycle through it like that, it can get really strange sometimes. Um, so there is one more item that this has. If you press and hold the minute button, which incidentally, the buttons on the back, minute, alarm, and hour, and the reason is because if you have the clock facing you, hour, alarm, minute, from left to right, so that makes sense. Um, if you hold down the minute key, that cycles between 12 and 24 hour format. If, however, 
So let me demonstrate that to you right now since it's just turned noon. So if I switch, if I hold down the minute key, you'll notice on the display a PM appeared, and if I ask for a time announcement, the time is 12 o'clock PM. Now, there is one other thing, as I mentioned, that this clock has that the other doesn't. You'll notice I held down the minute button and the PM disappeared on the display. If I press and hold the hour key, the time is 12 o'clock PM. Minute, we have a female voice on this one. And by default, the female voice defaults to 12 hour time. Give me just a second. Now, in case anybody's wondering, those chimes did not come from this clock. They came from my phone. Um, but the female voice, excuse me, defaults to 12 hour time, whereas if I switch back over to the male voice, The male voice defaults to 24 hour time. So let's put it back on the female voice. The time is 12.01 p.m. And then we press and hold minute to switch to 24 hour time. Now, if you're totally blind, there is no way to effectively switch to 24 hour time audibly. So what I recommend you do is if you want to use 24 hour time on either of these, you press and hold the minute key and then count 1 1000, 2 1000, up to 5, and that will switch it over. You have to keep the button held though, because otherwise it'll do this. Oh, two minute. That enters the manual time setting mode. If you do want to make adjustments, in fact, I'll show you here with the, the alarm. Time is 12. Oh, two. So we'll go in and set an alarm. So we press and hold the alarm key. Alarm 1. Now you'll notice it said Alarm 1. It didn't announce the time. That means we're in the setting mode. So if I press Hour... 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 o'clock. We set our minutes. Oh, 1 minute. Oh, oh, 3 minute. Oh, 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 oh. 9, 10, 12, 15, 18, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 immediately places us in alarm two, so we have to cycle through all five alarms. Alarm three, alarm four, alarm five. The alarm time is 15, 20, five, alarm on. Um, but really that's it. Um, this one, as I said, has the male and female voice and also the... The time today is Tuesday. 30 January year 2018 the uh, USA time updated the um the uh, European date format date month year whereas this one only has the singular voice the time is 1204 today is Tuesday January 30 year 2018 and the US date format both of these run about $30. There is a third version that you can get from Ryzen through MaxiAids here in the United States. If you choose to go with that particular model, you will get the standard voice of all Ryzen uh, 
all Ryzen talking watches. And if you want to hear what that sounds like, go back to my video on the 90s square talking watch. Um, you'll be able to hear a sample of that there. Basically, it just comes down to this. All of these have 24 and 12 hour format. All of these have five separate alarms. It depends on who primarily ordered this because Five Senses is the main branding from the Chinese manufacturer who builds these for all of the manufacturers. And I only know this because I actually got to talking to them about a watch that I ordered about a year, two years ago. We had to change the delivery time. And through, through our conversations, I found out that they were working on a prototype USB rechargeable talking atomic watch. Well, nowadays, every manufacturer, every dealer has one. And that's basically when it dawned on me that all this is is a slight modification of a blank design. Um, all that really changes on these models are um, the voice chip, and in the case of the verbalized model, the ability to have two voices and the European date format. Other than that, these are exactly the same. Um, this one, the verbalized, is only available in black and white. The Five Senses is available in black, silver, and white, and the Ryzen is available in black and white. Something else to consider, too. If you are somebody who has issues with key rings, you may want to consider the verbalized model because it has this little clip easier to handle. Also, take a look at the buttons here. High contrast versus blending in. Now, a lot of people would say, oh, if you're just going to do it tactily. But the truth of the matter is, when I first got the Five Senses model, which was my first version of this, um, it took me a while to discern the um, the exact position of the buttons. Nowadays, it's muscle memory, but I've had this one, I've had the Five Senses one since last April. So, be putting putting the high contrast buttons here on the back and on the front really really helps. Whereas with this one, they only put the the contrast on the front. I honestly wish they had done that on the back. I can't speak for the Ryzen model. The Ryzen model, with the exception of the branding up here at the top, on the front it looks exactly the same. Um, as I said, um, all of these have the five alarms, all have 12, 24-hour time formats. Uh, the primarily di primary difference, again, date, uh, format, and the presence of the female voice on the verbalized model. Uh, that's something, by the way, I wish they would they would bring to all models because I like having the ability to switch to the ability to switch my voice around. I really like that a lot. Um, all of these run about 30 bucks, so you're not really going to get a price difference between them. Now, if you wish to procure other items from the talking watch shop, for instance, they've got a couple of watches that have this voice chip in it. Um, you only have one choice if you want to go with Amazon, and that is the, their deluxe top-of-the-line range. And unfortunately, here in the United States, it, it pans out to $235. And the reason for that, I believe, is because they're actually using real silver and real gold. They've got much, much cheaper models if you go to talkingwatchshop.co.uk and you're willing to put up with the delivery and, uh, and whatnot. Um... But if, you, but if you want to go with Amazon and do you want this voice combination, then this Verbalize uh, talking key clip alarm clock with the five alarms is the cheapest way to go. But in terms of if you're looking for a keychain, again, you've got the three choices. You've got the Verbalize, you've got the five senses, and you've got the one from Ryzen, which I do not have on me. Um, all run about $30, and um, you just have to pick the color you want and the features you want. I've basically uh, talked them out to death now. Um, any questions are welcome. Um, comments are welcome. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.